So here we are again. We're going to actually show another slippery sheet, or two sheets. The blue tube is um, something I mentioned to you before. It's exactly like the orange tube, the mini maxi roll, except it extends the full length of the patient. This is a set of uh, blue maxi slides. They are separate sheets so that instead of going only in one direction, they can bring the patient up in the bed as well. We always use two of the slippery sheets together. They're made out of the same fabric, the polyester, nylon, impregnate, impregnated with silicone. We use these, as I said, together. We place them. These will be placed all the way under the patient. And then we use them to move the patient back and forth. There are several techniques for placing these maxi slides. If you have a patient who can help you, all you really need to do is, is raise the side rail on the cart and have them reach over and they will sort of unweight their hips. And you can put these underneath open? the patient. Mm -hmm. Okay, because like eight just checked in out front, so I'm going to start pulling people back. <laughs> okay. okay, that's all right. We'll just press on. Um, but there's a technique that you can use if your patient can't help you. It's actually called the burrito, and they're teaching this in work steps now. As new people come on board, they're teaching everybody that's clinical hands-on the maxi slides, and they're teaching this burrito technique. So I'm going to undo this stretcher, move it around over here, and I'll talk you guys through this, and we can do this together. We place the maxi slides actually on top of the table. Be careful not to cover the <laughs> Okay. What we do with this is we're going to fold these maxi slides in thirds. We're going to take the top part and fold it down about a third of the way, and the bottom and fold that up a third of the way. Then we're going to roll this maxi slide from my side like it were it's a pad that I'm going to put underneath Leanne. Roll it about halfway. Then I want you guys actually to give me a little tension. And I'm going to place this right underneath the hip area. Okay. Now remember, this is a patient who can't help you do anything. Now unroll it from the other side. And now we place the end back on her back. If you look underneath the draw sheet, you'll see that you have a fold next to her elbow. Yes. And you also have two loose edges there that are underneath that fold. If you take that fold, just the fold with your hand that's towards the top of the cart, and you take your other hand, just, just the one the bottom. Thing. Yeah, just the cut. There's two maxi slides pulled in there. So you want both of them. Oh, that's just There easy. they are. Yeah. And then take the loose edge. Yeah. What we're going to do is hang on to this, and we're going to take those loose edges and unfold towards her feet. So we'll reach underneath, get those loose edges. If you'll, if you'll put your hands opposite, yeah, there you go. You'll, you'll open and cross your hands. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. That is so <laughs> Now, if we take the maxi slides in the hand that's towards the bottom of the stretcher and do the same thing towards the top and unfold. There you go. Now you place these under this patient who is not able to help you. And Leanne just gained about 500 pounds, and so we decided that we weren't going to roll her over much. Good? So Very far, so good. good. Wow. Okay. Now, you can use these. <laughs> you can use these actually if you grip onto the maxi slide, the top one. You can use this to slide her up. Slide her up. You can slide her down. <laughs> slide her all around. Okay. And now I'll show you how to do a lateral transfer with these. You really just want to get the maxi slide, the bottom one, out just a little bit. Now, if you're putting these underneath a patient and you've decided that that's what you're going to do, is you're going to do this transfer, you can actually put them in so that the bottom one is sort of um, off center. Oh, uh -huh. Now, we'll bring the stretcher over. And this time, we're actually going to use the maxi slides and not, a, not, the, not the, um, the dry sheet. If you want to hand me that pillow, you locked it, right? We'll give you the pillow back, but I'm going to use the pillowcase because I want to show you guys something. You have different heights of people. People are reaching across. They're putting their, hand, their legs on the stretcher. You can just take a pillowcase and we put through there. So cool. We can extend the length. So I would have, 
you know, if I had a really big person, I might put two pillowcases here, so I would have two people here. That's a good idea. Yeah, that is great. Isn't that great? So now I want you to push on the end, and I'm going to pull on her. And what you didn't see was when you're doing this, try to be <clears throat> in a dynamic stance. So you're moving backwards and forwards with your own weight. Full? Very much. All right. And it was a very smooth, very move. smooth move. <laughs> Now to take these out from under her, a little bit different from the tube, we just reach underneath, and you can come from the head or the feet. I take that opposite corner, and I'm going to fold it under towards me. And I'm just going to walk that up and out from underneath. Not at all. There we go. Sorry. There's my trick. That's pretty good. Questions so far? Okay, so if you've got a patient who's going to live in this house with you for a while and you're having to move them and all that, then we can use this. And I'll review that. Two of the maxi slides together. Mm -hmm. Always fold from the top down. Clean to dirty. Top down. Bottom up. Roll. And then pick that roll up so that that rolled part is going down underneath the hips. Okay. And then grab on to the, um, to the, you know, yeah, right. Grab on to the fold. Take the two loose edges and unfold towards the feet first. And then unfold towards the head. Okay. Simple as that. Yeah. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.